Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to send email from the backend side. I mean from the Python side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add attachment in email template, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is there and different types of playlist available with different topics with the real test cases. And if you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that repository and we have some social media pages. So please subscribe those pages to get the latest notification. If you want to support this channel using many ways like buy me coffee, PayPal or using this join button. So let's back to our main topic like how you can send your email from the backend side. So last time what we discussed is you can send your send the emails from this action right. So it will automatically open this one the email composer. So this email pop up screen right. But let's say if you want to send your mail from the backend side right. So how you can do it. So for that like let me add here one more uh, let's say button here so based on the button click event i will try to send email all right so for that you already know we created this wb email template here and we are trying to add in student profile so you can see this is student profile and i will try to add here one more method which is def send mail from button click all right i will add here like this i will try to copy this one this method name and i will try to find out this form view student profile and i will add here button name and that method name type should be object and string should be like let's say email send or let's say send email you can also add here the beautiful class name right so for that all right so bt and primary all right after that let's say here we have to add one more logic so before that like let me upgrade the module first write this school underscore student and i will try to upgrade from this pycharm terminal only and i will pass here this module so it will automatically upgrade this module while i will click to this button and you can see here the changes now uh, let's say if you want to if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist over there i already explained and let me refresh the page you can see here it will automatically add one more button all right so if i will click here ops so the mandatory field should be need to add here and let me go to here let me add the student right let me duplicate this tab and i will try to go to in the emails so here you can see uh, there are four types of so there are four records is available let me delete all all right not delete this one at the moment and you can see all record created 24th and 25th today is 26th all right so here i will try to do one thing once i will click here it will automatically send email right and if you already know how to if you already know we already created a new module right and over here 
like we created this email template and over here we already discussed like how you can implement this tag how to create a temporary variables how you can add uh, iteration then after conditional statement how to add images and all right so here what i will try to do is like let's say i will try to copy this email save and here like i will do self dot env dot ref oh sorry here and before that like i will try to add module name and simple what i will do here is i will try to add here one more method i mean i will call this method send underscore mail and here we have to pass one compulsory parameter which is the record set all right uh, not the record set but the specific record id we have to send so for that like i will use here self dot id all right and now i will try to restart the service but i will remove this one and i will try to sorry not here let me restart the service first here in the email templates if you remember last time we had one issue in the variable name right so make sure i will try to delete that code also let me check one more time all right so it's done now i will try to click to this button all right and you can also check the terminal here so you can see the pdf file also generated and it's attached in the email and the process is done here right and now if i will go to here in the emails so all emails basically store here in this mail.mail model all right and you can see this is just we try to send the email and you can see the body part here right and you can see also attachment is there and the attachment is here all right so this is only outgoing email and it's just created as a draft but let's say you want to directly uh, and yeah one more thing is like let's say if you want to if you click to this button right it will forcefully send this email and let's say if it's sent it will automatically update as a send or let's say if it's failed due to some reason right the technical side or we can we didn't configure properly the outgoing emails so due to that it's available it's updated as a delivery failed right so you can also see here the delivery failed message okay let's say you want to also click to that button automatically right and yeah before you can see here in the list view it will automatically update as a red color why because it's uh, having a some issue so manually we have to check and resolve this fail your message and we have to try again one more time all right and now you can see here total five records is available and let's say you want to forcefully send this email right so you have to use this comma and after that you have to add one more parameter is the force underscore send equal to true that's it so it will automatically manage that button also all right and now i will try to click to this sorry i'm trying to restart the service only and i will go to here and i will just try to click this button and now i'm going to here refresh the screen and you can see the new entry also updated here with the failure message right so like this way you can send email right from the backend side
only the thing is you have to use here proper email uh, this should be the record set of the email template right and using that email template you can use the send underscore mail and in this method we have to pass one compulsory parameter which is the record set id all right and uh, yeah let's say you want to forcefully send mail right you know one piece of line code then you can just add this parameter force underscore send equal to true that's it and it will automatically manage by auto you don't need to do anything here so yes so this is the way you can send email from the backend side with one line of code i hope you understood this topic and in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be in the version 15 only so till now what we discussed is especially for the jinja template right and now onwards we are trying to create the same things but using the latest version i mean the version 15 all right 16 already launched right so don't worry about that one we will also cover that part soon but uh, here i will show you at the last like what is difference between jinja template and qweb template engine all right so this is all about version 14 and the lower version if you are working to especially for this email creation this body part all right if you have any doubt related those topics please comment below and see you in next session.